Hi, second grade. For math to start this week, we are going to be learning all about shapes. And for this video, you're going to need some tools. So you need six, either pencils, popsicle sticks, straw, pens, markers, okay, or you can take a piece of paper and cut it into six strips because we're gonna be using these strips to make shapes. So get the tools you need and come right back. Let's go ahead and get started. So second grade math shapes. By the end of today, I want you to be able to say, I can recognize shapes based on their number of angles, faces, and sides, and I can identify triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, hexagons, and cubes. There might be a lot of words there that you have no idea what they mean or you've never heard of them. We are going to learn today. So first, if you haven't yet, make sure you go grab six straws, popsicle sticks, pipe cleaners, strips of paper that are the same size, pencils, pens, crayons, whatever works for you. That will be something kind of like a stick. Usually when we do these in class, I will give you clear plastic straws. All right, first up, I want you to make a shape with three sticks. Hmm. What did you make? I made a triangle. Triangles can look a lot of different ways. Maybe your triangle doesn't look exactly like mine, but a triangle is a shape. And first we're gonna talk about how many angles does a triangle have? Well, an angle is a point where two sides or sticks meet. So I want you to count what is the point where two of your sticks or pens or whatever you're using, how many points is it where they meet? The answer is three angles and here's where they are. One angle where these two meet, another angle where these two sides meet, and a third angle where those two sides meet. Now, how many sides does a triangle have? A side is the line or edge between two angles. You can count the number of sticks you used to make the shape. Hmm, how many sticks did we use? We have three sides. One, two, three. Tri means three. So triangle, tri is our prefix. So that means that a triangle, all triangles always have three angles and three sides. Now I want you to make a shape with four sticks or pens or whatever tool you're using. Hmm, what did you make? I made a quadrilateral. Now, yours might look a little bit different than mine. These are all quadrilaterals. Or you might be thinking, Mrs. Bishop, you're saying the wrong name. Well, this is a square, this is a rectangle, this is a parallelogram. All of these are quadrilaterals. Let's learn more why. So first, how many angles does a quadrilateral have? Remember, an angle is the point where two sides or sticks meet. Hmm. How many do you think? Four angles. One, two, three, four. Now, how many sides does a quadrilateral have? Well, remember, a side is the line or edge between two angles. You can also count the number of sticks you use to make the shape. How many sticks did you use? Four sides. We have one, two, three, four sides. So just like the triangle, quad, relateral, has a prefix two, and quad means four. That means no matter what, a quadrilateral is a shape that has 
four angles and four sides. Are you getting the hang of it? Our triangle had three sides and three angles, and our quadrilateral had four sides and four angles. What pattern are you noticing? I'm noticing that tri means three, and that it always has the same sides and angles. Just like a quadrilateral has four sides and four angles, that's the same number. Hmm, let's look at some more shapes. Now I want you to make a shape with five sticks. Hmm, this one might take a little longer. You can pause the video if you need to. What did you make? I made a pentagon. Now, a pentagon can look a variety of different ways, just like all of our other shapes. But here's what's important about a pentagon. How many angles does a pentagon have? Do you remember what an angle is? It's that point where the two sides meet. Can you count up our angles on the pentagon? This pentagon has five angles. One, two, three, four, five. Now I bet you can guess what the next question is. How many sides does our pentagon have? Can you count up the sides? Five sides. One, two, three, four, five. Now just like all our other shapes, pent means five. So all pentagons have five angles and five sides. We've got one more shape to make. I want you to make a shape with six sticks. Hmm, what did you make? You can pause if you're not ready yet. A hexagon. A hexagon, just like the rest of our shapes, can look different. Now, how many angles does a hexagon have? See if you can count them up. Six angles. We have six points where our sides meet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, how many sides does that mean our hexagon has? Can you count them up? Six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I bet you can guess what hex means. Hex means six. That means all hexagons have six angles and six sides. Let's review. A triangle has three sides and three angles. A quadrilateral, four sides and four angles. A pentagon, five sides and five angles. And a hexagon, six sides and six angles. A polygon, these are all called polygons. And a polygon is a shape with three or more sides. You can't have a shape without at least three sides. So we have our triangle, our quadrilateral, our, hmm, what's the five-sided shape called? Pentagon and our hexagon. I wanna show you something really quick that I didn't say before. I remember the difference between hexagon and pentagon because hex has an X in it just like the number six. Now we have one 3D shape to learn. What is a 3D shape? Well, 2D shapes are flat, like a piece of paper, but 3D shapes can stand on their own, like a box. The two 3D shapes you see here are a cube and a cylinder. Cubes, boxes, are what I think of. Cylinders, I think of a cup. Now a cube, if it was a 2D shape, we would just have a quadrilateral. But because it's 3D, it can stand on its own, it is called a cube. If you ever took a box and split it up, you might see something like this. And it has six faces. That means it has six quadrilateral faces on it. And then when you fold it all up, you get your cube. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Now, just like our other shapes, it has angles, but on a 3D shape, these are called vertices. And our cube has eight vertices, and this is where those faces meet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you can't see that back one, but there's one more right there. And also, just like our sides, a cube has, or a 3D shape has edges, and our cube has 12 edges. The most important thing that you need to know about a cube is that it is a 3D shape and not a quadrilateral. You have learned a lot today about different shapes, triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, hexagons, and cubes. Remember, these are all polygons. The cube is a 3D shape. And don't forget, sides and angles can teach you a lot about a shape. I can't wait to see what you show me you learned this week. Bye.